use one of the following techniques. This method prevents scratching the glass while trimming thick safety film. Scratching the glass surface while cutting through thick safety film can etch the glass and weaken the window. This can compromise the protection benefit provided by the safety film. Slip the plastic slide behind the film and against the window frame. Then press the knife blade into it, leaving a 1 32nd to 1 8 inch gap between the blade and the frame. Carefully move the blade in the direction you are trimming and slide or pull the plastic slide along the frame as you trim. The five-way tool is an excellent cutting guide while you're learning. Place the five-way tool against the film and frame edge and run your knife along the side of the tool to create a straight cut and gap. Repeat this process for the remaining three window edges. The result should be a piece of film patterned to the window with a 1 32nd to 1 8 inch gap between the film edge and the window edge on all four sides. Remember, in order to squeegee the film properly, the edge must lay down cleanly on the glass. If the film butts up against the frame, the water will not expel properly when squeegeed. With either cutting technique, remove the excess film from where you made your cut by holding the film against the glass and tearing the loose film away from the window. Step 5. Final Cleaning You'll need your pressure sprayer with solution, the Pro Squeegee, paper towels and optionally a helper. Before the final cleaning, you'll have to remove the cut film pattern from the window. If you do not have a helper to hold the pattern, you'll need to temporarily lay the film against a clean adjacent window or flat surface of equal size or bigger with the liner facing out for removal. To do this, spray the adjacent window, then lay the film on it. The solution will hold it in place. Now you're ready for the final cleaning prior to hanging the piece of trim film. Give the entire window a light spray mist. Then repeat the cleaning squeegee pattern outlined in step two. This is a critical step. Remember any drops of solution left on the glass can collect dust. The glass must be clean and dry before removing the liner. Any contaminants left on the window at this point will be permanently embedded underneath the film. Step six, liner removal. You'll need your pressure sprayer with solution, masking tape, and optionally a helper. It is now time to expose the pressure sensitive mounting adhesive which is covered by a clear protective release liner. The easiest way to begin separating the liner from the film is to place small pieces of masking tape on both sides of a corner of the film, then pull them apart. Wet the exposed adhesive before touching. This will minimize any fingerprints in the adhesive. If you have a helper, hold the film up as your helper peels the liner and wets the adhesive. Liberally wet the exposed adhesive surface as the liner is slowly pulled down. The solution detactifies the adhesive and prepares it for mounting. The moisture also cuts static electricity which can attract airborne particles. Remember, when the adhesive is exposed, it is most vulnerable to contamination. If you have no helper, remove the liner while the pattern is still held up on the adjacent window. Do not allow the film to touch anything as you move it to the glass for film hanging. Step 7. Film Hanging You'll need your pressure sprayer with solution. Remist the glass if necessary. Carefully place the film against the misted glass using your thumbs to guide the film into the top corners. Do not allow the exposed adhesive surface to touch the frame. The mounting solution will allow the film to slide against the glass for ease of positioning. Move the film until it is centered for a perfect fit. If the film does not slide, peel back a top corner and spray additional solution between the film and the glass. Be sure it is even on the top and bottom as well as along the edges. In order to squeegee the film properly, there must be at least a 1 32nd inch gap between the film edge and the window edge. If the film butts up against the frame, the water will not expel properly when squeegeed. Safety film is heavy and will tend to slide down the window. You will probably have to hold it in place with one hand as you prepare to anchor the film. Step 8. Anchor Squeegee You'll need your pressure sprayer with solution the wood-handled squeegee, and paper towels. First, spray the surface of the film with solution to allow the squeegee to slide. 
using the wood-handled squeegee, begin at the top center and squeegee outward with smooth, horizontal strokes. Begin each stroke as shown here and alternate the direction every three to four strokes. These strokes should stop one to two inches from the edge. Then, use a vertical stroke to move the water down. Floods of water pushed out the side will flush dirt from under the frame and contaminate your installation. Squeegee pressure should be firm and slow with angled overlapping strokes. Follow this procedure over the entire glass surface using as many strokes as required. Repeat the entire squeegee procedure at least three times to remove most of the mounting solution from behind thick safety films. Increase the pressure against the glass with each pass. On the third pass, you can squeegee all the way to the top and side edges because the film edges will already be laid down. Remember, excess water left behind the film will not be visible at first, but will puddle during the curing process, ruining the installation with bubbles or spots. The more you squeegee, the better the installation and the shorter the curing period. Remember, there is water behind the film even if you can't see it. Step 9. Edge Squeegee You'll need the five-way tool and paper towels. Take the five-way tool and double wrap paper towels around the long, flat edge. Repeat the sequence shown here, pushing all the way out to the film edge. As your paper towel becomes saturated, reposition to a dry area of the towel. Be sure to change your paper towel frequently. Continue until as much moisture as possible has been removed from underneath the film. Extra effort in anchoring and drying the edges can keep moisture under the frame from seeping back under the film. Step 10. Inspection. Examine your installation from different angles, checking the interior and exterior if possible. Look for areas where the solution may have accumulated or puddled. It is important that any of these moisture accumulations be worked out of the film as much as possible to reduce cure time. Let a finished window sit for five minutes before final inspection. Any remaining solution will start to puddle and you'll be able to see which areas need additional squeegeeing. Don't wait too long because safety film begins to anchor quickly. Once the adhesive sticks, squeegeeing may cause trails or marks that may never cure out. Over the next few weeks, moisture under the film may pool together in little dime to quarter sized pockets. This is a normal part of the safety film curing process. The more solution that is removed during the installation process, the less puddling will occur. Safety film cure time is generally two to six weeks depending on installation, humidity, and sun exposure.